Hi everyone, this is Swati from the software testing help.com team and we are again excited to present to you yet another um, new short simple but extremely useful course and that is the Jira course. Now this Jira course is like you know um, nothing else that you've seen. So what I'm trying to tell you in this sense is that um, the Jira course that we have put together is a, a perfect fit for both developers and testers and it will actually uh, you know leverage or you know give you enough uh, information it will equip you with enough information that will help you leverage Jira to use it for uh, managing all your agile projects and we know that you know a recent study actually um, has said that 85 percent of the projects are migrating from the traditional waterfall method uh, to the you know, uh, much more rapid and iterative agile model, uh, which means that, you know, um, there is a lot of influx for agile related management uh, tools and in that area Jira is extremely robust and very very well built and things like that and this course and you know um, taking the time out to learn it and that too over the period of just the weekend spending just a little bit of time over the weekend can uh, help bulk up the resume and really um, you know help you just you know check one tool off of your toolkit uh, so I'll just give you a high-level overview of what Jira is what we have in our course and how this can be useful we'll do that at the very end one more time so let me get started um, so yes um, this is a you know a high level details of the incident management system and I don't want to go into any details of it so feel free to read to, through it uh, pretty much it's self-explanatory but what I want to really emphasize here is that Jira is as it shows an incident management tool now what is an incident in the context of Jira Jira actually revolves around issues and the incidents are in the system of Jira referred to as issues now issue in terms of Jira is just any piece of work that needs to be get um, that get, that needs to get done so here's how Jira handles things at the crux of Jira are the issues and issue is any piece of work that needs to be done so when we are talking about work it starts from the time work begins so when work begins the progress is zero percent that means no work has been logged on it uh, but this work goes through different stages and ultimately goes through a stop or done stage which means the task is a hundred percent done but what happens in the intermediary stages might be that there might be different actors or owners right so an issue that is created might be you know might need somebody's input might need somebody's action and then move to someone else so there's this sort of transaction in terms of who is the actor or owner happening in you know um, the process of a work being done from start to stop and there's also different actions itself so what action is being performed are you reviewing it is some you know is actor X reviewing it or are they uh, providing their input are they updating to the task what is it that's going on so there are different actors actions and with each step or each intermediary phase there is a certain amount of work that is logged or uh, done so from 0 to 100 percent it will normally not be a one-step process so, so there might be like incremental five percent ten percent so there's always like you know a, a certain amount of extent of work that is uh, done so incident management tools will typically let you create these systems so they'll act as a centralized repository for all of these issues or work or incidents that you want to track so that forms the crux crux of Jira so Jira provides us a mechanism to create in a centralized repository we know that um, in addition to being created we can obviously retrieve the issues which means there is a search feature there has to be a search feature and in addition to the search feature we also have um, a mechanism that will let us do all of this that we talked about that means it will let us assign it to individual owners let them log their work uh, perform their action add the comments so all this kind of work the actual work that needs to be done it provides a way for all of that to be accomplished so in addition to all of this um, Jira has a lot of other cool features which brings us to um, 
you know, this is something that we talk about in our STH classes a lot. Whenever you're using a software or a tool to perform a certain task, there are always like three types of features. Features of essence, that means, see, if an incident management tool does not let you create an issue, that's a red flag. So the pretty much core competency, uh, you know, supporting features, these are features of essence. And then, then uh, there are features of convenience. Uh, like for example, if you were not to use an uh, automated tool like Jira or anything else for issue management, and if you, if, you, if you have created an issue and if you need person X on, to act on it, how would you do it? You'd normally send an email or walk up to their desk and let them know, hey, this is a task that is uh, up for you know um, your input you are up next and you need to work on this so you'll go either you know person to person send an email or uh, do any other sort of that interaction but tools like Jira they come with you know these convenience aspects one example is that you can automatically notify them via an email when you know a new issue is assigned to them and their work is um, you know uh, something that needs to come up next and the third kind of features that Jira has are features of assurance. Now, from time to time when we are performing work on a project or you know any other task for that matter, we want to stop for a second, check where we are at, understand what we're doing and you know see if we are right on track or if we need to uh, you know re-strategize and things like that. So features of assurance are also plenty in Jira. There are lots of reporting mechanisms, uh, time to time alerts that you can set in it which are really, really great. So in all of these areas, Jira is a great tool. Now, which brings us to this, uh, you know, uh, basically this slide, which is pretty much, you know, what we talked about. So, um, if you haven't done so already, you might want to pause this video at this point, read through it, and then see if Jira has all the features or not. Uh, but I'm going to move on. The Jira core concept itself. So, we talked about how at the crux of, uh, you know, Jira, there is the issue. So, that remains the same. Uh, but issues are categorized under projects and projects are further defined into components and versions. So, we'll talk about this more when we get to the class. Uh, but, you know, all the issues that belong to a certain project are grouped in a, in a certain entity uh, by which is pretty much the project's name. And then the workflow talks about the different stages that they go through and what each stage means and, you know, who is the actor in each stage. So this is how Jira's core is, uh, you know, um, is organized uh, per se. So let me talk a little bit more about the Jira's architecture, what the tool is all about and things like that. And then I'm going to give you the course highlights. So Jira is, you know, just like all other software, follows a three-tiered architecture, which means it is it has a browser accessible UI or a client, and then there is the database, there is back and forth interaction with the database, and then there is a web server that powers through this interaction. So this is the three tiers of the three tiered architecture that's pretty much the same. Um, Jira does have the SaaS version available which means the database and the web server can be in a cloud. So this version where you just you know have the client you know available and not install the database or the web server uh, that's called the on-demand or the SaaS version so that's available with Jira. Jira is a commercial tool, which means it's licensed. Uh, what I really like about Jira is that Jira is very, very light. So let me just quickly show you uh, the Atlassian homepage itself. So if this is this is the Atlassian homepage, and Jira is an Atlassian product. Now Jira starts with its core. So when I click on Try It for Free, here I have various options. So as I told you, there is a cloud version where they host the database and the server. Uh, or if for some reason, if you are from a large scale company, you want to host it yourself, you want to make, make sure that the database is, stays with you uh, so that, you know, for security or any other reasons, then you can go for the server version, which means you'll have to do some installations. On the other hand, if it's the cloud, there are no installations necessary. Uh, so here you see, um, 
you could just get Jira in any way you like. You can keep it as light as the core issue tracking system and just get that or add Agile or add Service Desk. There are many add-ins that help uh, testers also uh, perform test management like Zephyr. So you can add Jira uh, add-ins as and when you require keeping the software wise uh, keeping it software wise light and also price wise light uh, so that is a very neat feature of Jira that I personally really really love and coming to the course now so this is Jira so uh, from Jira uh, you could do issue management developers could track the new requirements they could actually connect it with the source code system uh, and testers can actually use it for bug tracking uh, for agile project management and so many other things um, and Jira has two different kinds of users one is the regular user and then the admin user now many tutorials or most tutorials will give you an overview of how to use Jira from a user's perspective uh, but the admin is something that you will find lacking or missing in most of these tutorials but with us we are going to cover the admin module also so let me give you a high level overview since uh, the core of Jira is issues, we are going to spend a considerable amount of time on how to create an issue, how to work with the issue, how to assign issues, uh, how to you know um, generate reports about the issues, how to search them, and all of that. Uh, and since we do have, I mean, as software testing helps reputation, probably will already let you know. Uh, but we do have a lot of experience in the area of you know how to create issues. Uh, so we do have our own best practices that we come up we came up with over you know uh, the few years that we've been working on this so the unique thing about this course would be we will provide all the best practices on how to create issues how to write them how to define them which one is going to be very very optimal for what kind of situations all that we'll deal with uh, we'll talk about dashboards and you know uh, how to create uh, I mean how to work with projects and workflows uh, and then coming to agile so this is the value add if you are from um, you know um, project management background or from a development background or if you're just a QA and you're trying to you know um, make it as a QA lead or if you're just a team member and want to understand how pro agile projects work and how you can contribute to the agile projects this is something that's going to be extremely useful for you so we start and as, at STH we always believe in basics so we start with how agile projects work what kind of you know uh, agile management happens like without any use of uh, you know tools and then we try to draw a parallel between the tool and the manual process so that we can very very clearly see how well a tool can you know um, enhance the entire process so we are going to cover agile uh, Jira agile and then we'll go in depth into the uh, administration module again uh, since we will be going we are going to use the cloud version uh, we probably will not be able to show you the database and how to organize that uh, but you know the other activities the main activities like user management project management workflow workflow administration importing your issues from excel sheets all of these are going to be covered very extensively uh, we'll also talk a little bit about service desk, confluence and all of those other third party integrations and if any testers want to uh, talk about how test management tools can be integrated that can be made a part as well so this is how the course is going to go on and um, we pretty much have a very open strategy when it comes to our classes we start with the course syllabus like what you're seeing here and then going forward we tailor it based on our class needs and that is why all our classes are always interactive and we take our students opinion and we form and mold this class around what they like so for example if I have a developer in the class he wants to see a particular thing um, we will make sure that his needs are going to be addressed but the core syllabus itself is pretty concrete and is going to be extremely beneficial as I said for all project managers um, uh, beginner level testers, experienced testers, uh, developers and everybody in general who is you know uh, looking at using uh, Jira in the near future. As uh, This is the Jira uh, version uh, from the URL you can tell that this is the on-demand version. Um, there is the dashboard which is pretty much like you know the front page of your newspaper where you will find the key things that are happening in your company. 
So on the left hand side you would see uh, all your help links, documentation and everything. On the right hand side you will see issues that are assigned to you which means this is like you know grabbing your attention there and telling you hey these are things that are waiting on your input so get to it. And then there's the activity stream that will tell you about all the things that are happening in your project in general. Uh, dashboard can be configured and we'll see more on that in the class. There's projects so you can browse through all the projects that you have access to. Uh, you can see their information. Um, so you can see the issues that are assigned to them. So you see, uh, there is a, see when, when we create issues in an Excel sheet, all you can just see is a list of, you know, rows and columns in your Excel sheet. But here you see, it comes with an automatic uh, grouping of issues. So all the issues, unresolved issues. So you really have to do a very minimum amount of work to see the issues in any view that you like. So this is just one example of how, um, effective Jira can be in terms of providing you tailor-made solutions and then you can browse through all the issues uh, and then um, this is the agile boards I'll just show you a sample agile board um, so this will be similar to your scrum board so there's the to-do bucket there's the in-progress bucket there's the done bucket so these are all your user stories and this is how you can uh, plan them work on them and generate reports on them and we'll see each and every aspect of this in a you know microscopic view when we get to the class uh, so this is a very very unique opportunity to gain uh, skills on the core Jira uh, for Agile, Admin and all the other supporting topics in a very less time and this is going to, as I said, uh, be extremely crucial in, uh, in working effectively in your software development and Agile development uh, environments and um, this will also be very, very useful uh, to, you know, acquire a really well-rounded skill in little to no time. Uh, so this is a great course that we are offering and, you know, um, as I said, this is going to be a weekend program. Uh, so if there's anything else that we can do in order to, you know, um, help make you a decision to join this class, please feel free to let us know. You can, um, all the information is on our website. So please feel free to uh, write to us or, you know, send us a communication and we will be there to answer your questions. Uh, I hope this has oriented you enough to make a, you know, to really, you know, give you the essence of how important Jira is and what this course can do for you. So I hope to see you all in the class and thank you all.